But the Democratic and Republican parties have begun unleashing millions of dollars in campaign ads to support party favorites in the upcoming congressional elections and to encourage us to vote. New Jersey is second only to New York in weak voter turnout. There's a hot race that cuts right across our midsection, pitting Republican incumbent Leonard Lance against the mayor of Clinton, Janice Kovach, who joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us, Madam Mayor. Thank you for having me. We're going to start with New Jersey's economic recovery. It's lagged behind the rest of the nation. What can a single member of Congress do to improve employment here? You know, I look at the work that I've done in the town of Clinton and what's important to me and what's important to my community. And, and too many times, Washington, what I see happening in Washington is this, this partisan bickering. It's that, you know, if I point my finger at someone and, and distract attention, then I don't have to focus on what's really happening. But we need to focus. We need to think about our small businesses. Clinton is a microcosm of what this district looks like. I have a downtown that is a vibrant business community. Some of those businesses have been there for 30 years, but they struggle. And they're struggling because people are out of work, so we're not spending the money. And I think it's one of those things that, that we need to kind of forget about the party side of it and just say, what can we do to help our constituents? And the answer is? We need to put money back into infrastructure. You know, money has to come back. I, driving here, I kept, I used my, my app to get me here, and it kept saying, pothole ahead, pothole ahead, pothole ahead. That's just all across the state. And if we don't bring some of that infrastructure money back here, we're going to continue to see that infrastructure crumbling. Congressman Lance, your opponent, was with us last month, and um, he said that he has not changed his tune on environmental issues over the time that he's served in Congress. You say that's not true. I say that's not true. Leonard Lance was a pro-environment when he was in Trenton. He has not supported the initiatives. He has supported the pipelines that have been coming through focusing it as a, a job opportunity, but it's not necessarily New Jersey jobs. What do you support? I support a approaching it in that, you know, climate change is an issue that has to be addressed. That doesn't, it's not going to go away. We need to have renewable energies. We need to look wind. at infrastructure, wind, solar, geothermal, whatever it may be. There are so many opportunities out there. And we need to offer the subsidies to encourage renewable energy rather than focusing solely on fossil fuels. Immigration. Uh, Congressman Lance opposes granting amnesty to illegal immigrants and uh, says we should spend money securing our borders. We definitely need to look at the immigration reform. So here's what I, I look at it. These are individuals who have come across the border looking at the children that have been there. And as a mother, and this is something that I, I, I always try to talk about, I try to look at it as these individuals are coming here for a reason. They're, they're fleeing, whether it's poverty or crime, and they're coming into this country because they have family members here, possibly. But at the same time, we need to give them a clear path. So those that have come here, give them a clear path to legalization or citizenship. And then at the same time, work to ensure that the border has what it needs. But the, the issue is bigger than just our borders. The, the issue goes beyond, and we need to understand what's driving the population. One more question very quickly. I know it's very difficult to run as a female in the state of New Jersey. I know you're getting funding from um, uh, Women's Campaign Fund. Mm -hmm. Are you having trouble? It's always difficult raising money. I mean, I don't think any candidate enjoys making those phone calls to ask for money. And as a woman, yes, it probably is a little bit more difficult. I think women have a harder time asking for money for themselves. We are the best fundraisers for, for a, a cause that we believe in. But when it comes to asking for ourselves, it is a little bit harder. So yes, I think, but I think funding overall, because people are fed up, you know, we keep putting money into the campaigns and money into the campaigns. and. Residents don't feel that there's anything coming back to them. And that to me is really what this is about. It's, we're grassroots. Okay, Janice Kovach, thanks for being with us. Thank you.